Massive Overwatch 2 PvE content has been dropped for Season 6, including the story missions and even an extra co-op event. Also, the new support hero has been leaked. We've also been given the chance to see what the new Flashpoint game mode is like, as well as getting to see the new firing range and hero mastery, which all look so awesome. What is up everyone, it's CMG here. So during Xbox Showcase, there was absolutely tons of new content to sink our teeth into. There's an article from the Xbox website that goes into depth about everything that we can expect in Season 6, so let's get straight to it. Before we do that though, I just want to remind you all once again, if you like this idea for content and you want to see more in the future, go ahead and click on the subscribe button, send a comment, like the video, and then turn on your notifications. It really does help me out a great deal. For those of you that have done it already, thank you. I highly appreciate you. So the first thing that we need to talk about, and quite frankly, the most important part of the entire content reveal, are the story missions, the rise of Null Sector. Humanity and Omnix, a race of sentient machines, have had a tense relationship since the Omnic Crisis, a global war that eventually led to the creation of Overwatch. Years later, Overwatch disbanded and now the world is under new threats. When Null Sector begins their attack in Paris, Winston, Tracer, May, plus a handful of other heroes are able to save the city from destruction. However, they soon realize that a global invasion has just begun. The forces of Null Sector are bringing utter destruction to many cities and have a secondary motive to kidnap innocent Omnix from an unknown purpose. It will be up to the new Overwatch team to find out what their plans are and put a stop to them. But they'll need help from both past allies and new faces alike if they hope to stand a chance. Team up with your friends or play with others online to take on three action-packed story missions featuring many favorite heroes in Overwatch 2, fight against the intensified forces of Null Sector, and stay alert for challenging units including the powerful Annihilators and the Deadly Stalkers. This all sounds so incredibly good. Okay, it's not exactly the talent tree, replayability sort of PvE content that we were hoping or expecting, but I guess we'll need to find out what this is. It sounds really cool. This is the stuff, most of it comes from all of the 2019 content that we saw and now they're just putting it all into these mission packs uh, for season six and a little bit further on I, I think what they are trying to explain here with this three action pack story missions is that we have to play three different missions during season six either that or the missions will be spread between different seasons I'm not really too sure how that will pan out but that's the information that we've got here so three action-packed story missions during season six that sounds really definitely something to tide us over with until the next season where we've hopefully will probably get to see more of the story you know in, in even more story missions maybe there's three maybe there's four we don't know yet it's completely early days yet but it's really really good to see that there is some of this really cool stuff that they're uh, letting us know of okay so there's another new co-op event that is completely separate to this in addition to story missions you'll be able to take part in a new bonus co-op mission on king's row You'll explore the King's Row map, including all new areas not seen in PvP modes. So basically, King's Row is... There's an extension to King's Row, basically, uh, that you don't see in, in uh, the actual um, competable map. Uh, as you guide the TS1 pushbot on a mission to save Tracer's friend and the Omnic Underworld from Null Sector forces. So who is the friend then? Is that, uh, is that Iggy? Because, uh, you know, Iggy's a good friend of Tracer, so it'd probably be um, understandable if it, was, if it was someone like her. So... Uh, yeah, that's really, that sounds really good. So not only are we getting story missions, we're also getting a bonus event that is based off of co-op. So I, I guess there's, there's kind of a bit more to this. I guess we'll find out what will happen or how, how they'll distribute this content as Season 6 rolls around. Right now we're in Season 5. Uh, but Season 6, we'll find out a bit more information as to how these co-op events will be given to us. Right then, so let's talk about the new... Flashpoint game mode that is coming in Season 6. So this comes with two maps, I believe. So it's like a more of a Junker kind of map. And also, the teaser that I showed you before in the previous video where uh, there was an Indian map. Well, this is definitely true. So as it says here, also launching in Overwatch 2, Invasion is Flashpoint, a whole new PvP core game mode that you'll play in quick play or competitive play. This mode will feature two new locals, which are Overwatch 2's biggest PvP maps to date. Wow, so they are really that big. 
So apparently these maps are going to be bigger than the ones that we are currently playing on. Interesting. Teams will fight for control of key positions across the map called flashpoints, aiming to capture three of them before their opponents do. Things do move fast. There won't be any relaxing once a point is captured, as the next one is already waiting to be captured as well. So basically this kind of sounds like domination in Call of Duty. So you've got like three flags on one map and you're going around and trying to capture all the the, the areas on the, on the map. And uh, the more points that you earn, uh, ahead of the other team, that team will win. So I'm assuming that's how it will work, uh, according to this. Uh, not only will this mode test your skills on the gamepad, but your ability to plan ahead and stop opponents from moving on to the next flashpoint will be a huge key to victory. I can't wait for this new game mode. We haven't had a new proper core game mode since the push game mode uh, that replaced uh, the assault game mode from Overwatch 1. So the... The assault maps from that were taken out and then it was replaced by push. So this mode is a completely new mode and we can't wait to play it. Awesome. And finally, there's some new ways to master your skills, the firing range and the hero mastery mode. So this is what it says. Whether you are brand new or a veteran player, we're introducing new ways to play and practice your favorite heroes. Build up your skills with the all-new Hero Mastery Mode, which features engaging training courses specifically designed for individual heroes. Each course will test your skills using that hero's abilities and weapons and feature global leaderboards to showcase the top performing hero masters across the world. Overwatch 2 Invasion will be launching our first courses for select heroes, with more to come in future seasons. So, just by that sentence alone, I think what's happening is they will probably select a bunch of heroes and those heroes will be used in hero mastery so it won't be every hero it will probably be maybe a handful of heroes that will get their own hero mastery missions and then it'll be your job to be able to play through them and practice with them I, I don't know I think that's how I'm how I'm reading this I don't know if this is true or not what I was hoping for was like just having to use all the heroes in hero mastery but it says select heroes I don't know if that's supposed to be like for a certain number of heroes or all of the heroes, I'm not sure. But it says the first course is for select heroes with more to come in future seasons. So maybe in season 7 and season 8 we might get new hero mastery courses for more heroes. I think that's how this is working. Also, the practice range gets its first major update with a brand new firing range to hone your aim with any hero, including dozens of practice settings and multiple targets to choose from. Honestly, I don't even know why they didn't even do this before. I mean, most of the time we've used the practice range as just a way of just finding bugs out of heroes, or more often than not, we just go around just shooting the bots, and it's kind of like unchallenging in a, in a certain way. So, yeah, pretty interesting. Now then, finally, this teaser for the next hero. This is, I believe, the next support hero. Uh, and they've actually confirmed this, uh, Play of Watch on Twitter, that this is indeed the new hero. I don't even know what the hell that is for a weapon. It looks like a massive claymore kind of sword. Either that or it could be some kind of assault rifle, I don't know. But apparently she's got a cape. She has something on a, like, on a sort of, like, a helmet kind of thing. Um, we have absolutely no idea what this is. I'm, I'm actually quite intrigued. But, from that image alone, it definitely looks like she has some kind of, I don't know, like a, like a claymore kind of weapon. More like a melee weapon rather than a, a gun. I don't know. It's going to be really interesting to find out who this person is. So let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section down below. Are you excited about it? Are you not excited about it? Are you just like, eh, we'll see what happens and see if it's interesting enough. So yeah, thank you very much for watching the video, guys. If you like this idea for content and you want to see more in the future, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Send a comment, like the video, and then turn on your notifications. It really does help me out a great deal. You can also check me out on all of my social medias, my Twitter account, my Discord, and of course my TikTok. Thank you for stopping by, champs. Have a great day. Have a great life. Be nice to your fellow gamers because we are all human beings. I've been CMG as always, and until the next video, I shall see you later. Peace.